Hello, this is Joey Whitman Tutorials with my very first tutorial using HDRIs and cube maps in Unity's new HD render pipeline. And for this tutorial, we will be using this HDRI from HDRI Haven, probably the best online source for completely free, high quality HDRs. And if you use the service a lot, I would definitely recommend supporting him on Patreon as it improves the service for everybody with each goal he meets and uh, they're, they're pretty big improvements as well. But I already know what HDR I need. I'm using Sunset Fairway, and it's gonna take a while for you to download this, but with the magic of video editing, it's already done. Now you're gonna to wanna to open up Unity, and you'll see by default, it just renders a blue background in the HD render pipeline. And just a note from before, if you are doing a production version, I would always recommend downloading the 16K version of the HDR, as it will can always be downsized in Unity after the fact. So after that, you're gonna to wanna to import your HDR and you're gonna to wanna to change the texture shape to a cube map and the mapping to longitude latitude, which is cylindrical as that is what the style of HDRI Haven HDRIs. Now you can actually ignore the skybox material that I created. I was just gonna use that to demonstrate that the old lighting setup for setting up skyboxes doesn't work anymore, even though it looks like it should, but uh, OBS kinda of got hung up while it was encoding or well it was converting the skybox to a cube map but anyway uh, for the new method you're just going to need to create an empty that you're going to name rename sky or whatever you want for your skybox and then you're going to go to it and add a volume component and this is a new component with HD render pipeline and this component you're gonna need a profile similar to how the new post-processing profiles work, and you can add some component overrides at this point. Now, for the HDRIs, you need two components. You need the HDRI sky, which is where you're gonna plug in your cube map. I also ended up adding a little bit of exposure just so you could see it better. And at this point, you can also add a visual environment component as it is also necessary to render an HDRI sky. Once that's done, um, you can just check the sky type to HDRI sky and that'll be all set. Now one easy thing to forget is that you also need to check the volume to is global if you aren't going to be using blending between different volumes. So that's definitely important and once that's all set, you're all ready to go. You got your HDR in the background, your environment's all set up, and now you can go deer hunting. So one thing you might notice is that the only post-processing effects are inside of my scope, so I'm not sure if there is a limit to the amount of post-processing uh, effects you can put on different cameras, but uh, I'll be looking into that as that's definitely important to this game that I'm making right now. Now I haven't done an end card in quite some time, so here it goes. If you guys want me to create tutorials on anything, I'm really great with Blender and I'm trying to improve with Unity, so if you can't find a tutorial and you want me to make one, I'll do my best to make one for it. And thank you guys for watching, liking, favoriting, commenting, or subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.